Hello friends, in this video I like to show about how to draw a constellation diagram in by using LabVIEW. Here I have shown for uh, basically four uh, digital modulation techniques with the TPSK, uh, QPSK and 16-bit QAM and 64-bit bin QAM. Here how to prepare this is you can input data and this kind of a block how you can in uh, uh, LabVIEW have a port, go to the uh, numeric and then go to the complex and then you can go with the complex to polar or complex to rear part I can go with this it will divide your uh, complex number into real part and imaginary part now what you can do is that for this one we should make a one uh, option called as a bundle that means after making a bundle of your separate channel of real part and imaginary part and then you want to give for an xy mode wrap so this is available bundle is just you make it with a search and uh, you make uh, to make a bundle you have got an um, bundle by name and other things clusters and all first just simple bundle you can take it and you can place this you can place over here bundle bundle by Yes, bundle by this you have got an at least two input you can drag but if you are having an many inputs you can drag so how we can make it just connect for real to one channel and here to here and if you are giving any this is dbl right dbl if you are giving any of the uh, sinusoidal signal or a square wave or any kind of a continuous signal automatically it will take the data and it will make a bundle and then you can go with uh, um, indicator you can go with a graphical indicator uh, like this output cluster or as uh, a simple form is that you can make it here with uh, go to graph and make with xy graph and you can place it and uh, this you can you can make it this xy plot and you can join here yes sorry and this why it is showing error because we are not given any inputs we can give and create uh, uh, what is that create and constant we can give a constant called uh, something like if you want to give an one plus zero i yes and here i will make it with a bundle and yes with here i'll make it with one more is define so by using this method once you have made with this kind of a graph it is there and the xy plot you can once you run immediately you can see this one a vpsk with a, with a real part with an x-axis and measure part with y-axis you have got and two uh, this thing bubble kind, uh, bubble kind of a thing and for qpsk for if the distance from the center from the origin to here it will be equal for that you can make it as 1 divided by root 2 means it is a 0.7 uh, 0.7 at the right side so it will from the origin it will be having that distance and here for the QAM you should have an uh, four different 16-bit uh, uh, QAM 16 dot and it will be both uh, uh, with amplitude and also with the phase it will be having change four phase and four uh, different amplitude right um, and similarly we can go with the 64 bit and much more and there is a one more way of uh, doing here I have I will show one more with uh, respect to with the live uh, this thing uh, last time we have prepared one uh, BPSK uh, module so once if you are connecting with the modulated signal with the one uh, complex to real and one more with uh, with the carrier way we have taken one more with uh, real to complex and we have made a bundle of that you can see the symbol for by bundle there dbl has changed now is with the sinusoidal signal and built one array and then you can go with one simple xy plot that will become like a simple one con constellation uh, plot so we can once we run we can look at here in this chart if i'm making an any of uh, making amplitude variation you can see this bubble is moving at the right this thing and if you want to have a negative this thing negative scale you can vary this messes from minus 10 to 10 or else even more than that so based on that it will be varying uh, this is how to create the constellation plot by using labio thank you